Nice to see you, Marco. Hi, Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. I love the decoration. So much yeah. Canada. Thanks. Wow. That's beautiful. All right. Yeah. So, so um, how are you? I'm all good. Yeah, I'm very excited to make these cupcakes. Um, oh, and <laughs> because it's Canada Day coming up, uh, we will be singing the Old Canada before we start. So are you ready, Jessica? Yes, I am okay. ready. One, two, one, two, three. Hello, Canada, our home and native land. True pleasures love in all of us from land. With glowing hearts we see the Christ in pure truth on Oh, Canada. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, I forget the words. <laughs> okay, we're just going to start. Yeah. All right. So I got this cake mix um, from No Frills. Any box mix works. And we're going to be making the red velvet based on um, the ingredients that it requires. And uh, I also got this um, uh, cake recipe. It's from, well, it's actually the like high-end uh cake mix as well all right so this one requires and um, i am uh, i'm definitely solo i'm going on to my second year at humber north i am in the coce program and i'm the vice president of best buddies at humber college yeah. and i'm lauren bella i just finished my first year at the university of guelph humber and i am the president of the best buddies at our school perfect I'll just grab some cheese. Okay. Um, so we're going to start by opening up the cake mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, before you start with any baking recipe, make sure to wash your hands and tie any long hair up. So I've already done both of those. And you want to set the oven um, to preheat of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Let's grab the mix. And this recipe calls for um one three quarters cup of water two quarters oops two eggs and half a cup of vegetable oil this is the new one um a tip when cracking your eggs is to do it in a separate bowl first to make sure you don't get any egg shells right so we're going to do the oil I like to do it, um, pour the oil over the bowl, just in case a little bit spills. Okay. And then we're going to do the two eggs. Um, and once your ingredients are all mixed, I'll add my, to the second bowl. My recipe actually had three eggs in it. Oh, three so eggs. Well. Yeah, three eggs. Cool. So they do vary a little bit, but um, just make sure to follow the box. There we go, got those eggs. And um, I have a little towel beside me too for any quick cleanups. Then you want to take a whisk and mix it all up. You want to go very slow at first, otherwise you're going to get powder everywhere. So go very slow. So uh, this is a picture of uh, my sister and me making cupcakes at our preschool. Epic. So my mom and Baba were helping our class. Wow, I love that collage. Yeah, it's so, it's fun. so cute. Um, for everyone who joined the live video, what are some things that you do with your family during Canada Day? Do you have any special traditions you want to share? Maybe you make cupcakes each year too. We really want to hear. Okay. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Okay, and be careful not to over mix the, um, your batter as well, because you don't want too many air bubbles in it, otherwise the cupcakes will go flat. Right. Yes. So once all the ingredients are incorporated, I'm just going to clean up this whisk real quick. You want to keep all the cake batter you can. 
And I had lines. This cake yeah, I love cake too. With 12 Thank cupcakes. Cake. Yep. Cupcake liners Thanks. because that's how many that this recipe makes. Okay. A good trick I like to do too to make very even cupcakes once they're done cooking is to use a measuring cup. And at about one third works very perfectly. And this step can be a little bit messy, so make sure that you have a clear counter. And uh, it's okay if you get a bit Lauren? of cake mixed. Um, just let you know, Vicky said that she loves cake. She loves cake? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's, she, if she makes these cupcakes, she'd love these too. Yeah, she would, definitely. Mm -hmm. Red velvet's one of the best um, flavors as well. Yeah, it's my favorite cake ever. Mm -hmm. Like, I love it so much. It's my favorite. Love I love it. And what kind of icing do you usually use? Um, I actually normally buy red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's the regular cream cheese icing as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the best one with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, my aunt, my auntie Bev actually has a recipe for red velvet cake. But, mm -hmm. and to make it red, she actually uses beets. Wow. That's a very healthy alternative. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is too, yes. Mm -hmm. Have you guys in the comments heard about using beets in, in baking recipes before? Because this, this is my first time. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think they've heard about that yet. So, yeah. So I'm already halfway done filling my cupcakes. And although th there will be a bit of cake mix left in the bowl, so what I like to do is I use a spatula to scrape off all the extra. Oh. Mm -hmm. And although eating the raw cake mix, licking the bowl is probably the best part, um, I don't recommend it because this recipe calls for eggs and um, raw eggs can make you sick. So that's why we always have to cook our eggs before we eat it. So I actually I just saw someone that says that they don't have a tradition for Canada Day. They don't have uh... a tradition for Canada Day. Oh, well, maybe this year's the perfect time to start one by making yeah. your velvet cupcakes. Yeah, <laughs> and I actually I do as well. I actually have a tradition as well. Actually, sometimes oh. we uh, get invited to go to. A friend's yacht club, and we go there for lunch or dinner for Canada Day there. Wow, that's so nice. Yeah. And we watch the fireworks, too. Oh, yeah. I love watching fireworks. Yeah. And by the way, uh, Vicky is the executive director of Best Buddies Canada. Wow. We love that. You joined us. Thank you, Vicky. So glad to have you. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you everyone else for joining too if you guys make this recipe please feel free to send your photos to Best Buddies Canada so we can post it to yes. their Instagram page good idea yes perfect so I'm just finishing this up oh and All that I almost mm -hmm. forgot to show you something mm -hmm. I forgot to show you something oh what's that this is my hat that I wore when I was like a baby it's kind of looks like a little chef hat. Aww, that's so adorable. Yeah, I love it. It so still fits cute. too. Yeah, it does, but it's a little tight. Oh, that's okay. You don't notice. No, I don't really notice that much. <laughs> but it is a little on the tight side because my head has grown, actually. <laughs> it's grown a lot. So oh, yeah, uh, what should we uh, bake the next time uh, for we do this? Yeah, so I'm going to pop these into the oven, just one second. I actually saw a comment that we should make barbecue. Do a barbecue. Yeah? All right. So again, make sure to follow the cake 
the box mix recipe. This says for the 12 cupcakes, it takes about anywhere from 18 to 19 minutes. So you just want to put a timer or keep an eye out on it. Um, yeah. And we'll be ready in no time. All right, now the more fun part. Um, actually, Lauren, I just saw um, a comment saying that we could actually make barbecue. Whoa, barbecue. I wish I knew how to use the barbecue, but maybe I can get some training on that before. Yeah, like, I think you should get training from my dad, because he's really good at that. <laughs> you know, I would love to learn. <laughs> maybe you yeah, can definitely. Um, okay. If you do something on the barbecue or in the oven, um, what are some maybe recipes that, that people would like to see? Maybe like some ribs or chicken casserole or something? I mean, again, I haven't made those before, but I can always learn and show you guys. Yeah, definitely. Great. Right. Right. So, this is my batch. I have two dozen here. Wow. This will what they turn out um, after the 20 minutes, about. Yes. And that also, I also showed them that, too, as yeah. well. Um, these are just um, cups that you put in the batter for the cake. Yeah, oh, oh those are so cute um, liners. Perfect for Canada Day. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> All right. And I also have this O oh, Canada flag. Do you believe flag? Oh, it's backwards. Um, no, it's not. Oh, so cute. <laughs> it says O oh, Canada on it. Yeah, it says O oh, Canada on it. Like the song. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like the song, too. And they also have um, some sprinkles here. Uh, the rope red, of course. And um, Those the sprinkles? Yeah, the sprinkles are like right here. Very cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see you have the spoons you, um, to make it easier. Yeah, um, those are for um, when you're done um, icing the cupcake, you can easily like grab like a little bit and like, sprinkle it on top of the icing. Nice. And um, what kind of frosting will we be using to decorate today? Okay, so I have two different icings here. Mm -hmm. One is this, which is the simple... Um, cream cheese icing that you have just uh, said, and the two different colors. One is white, and one mm -hmm. is like, uh, okay, this should be red, but it turned pink, which I don't know how it did that, so yeah. That's okay. That's and then the second one is just this white, um, this white, Icing as well. It's oh, are they both powder, cream cheese? Powder, powder something. Or are powder they both cream cheese flavor. flavor? Sorry? Are they both cream cheese flavor? Uh powder, sugar, and water. Gotcha. Oh nice. That's a simple one. Yeah. yeah. That one is powder, sugar, and water, and the other one is the simple cream cheese icing. Nice. Yes. And um the frosting I'll be using today is just a quick homemade one. Use um, If you want to make it at home too, you can use one eight ounce block of cream cheese, half a cup of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two cups of powdered sugar. Whisk it all up good. and it's good to go. That's good. That's <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, so tip to make sure. So just a tip. To make sure your cupcakes are ready, you have to stick a wood toothpick in a cupcake, right? Mm -hmm. And if there's any, if there's no dough that sticks to the toothpick, they are cooked. Perfect. And if they're still um, a little wet or. Yeah, if there's still cup, a little wet or something like that, yeah. Probably an extra couple of minutes. It would, yeah. Definitely. Perfect. And um, before you start decorating, you want to make sure that you take your cupcakes out of the oven and leave them to sit in the, yeah, the cupcake cool. yes. for at least 10 minutes. And then you can transfer them to a wire rack like this one. 
uh, to finish off cooling. Because if you put the icing on warm cupcakes, then the icing will just melt and fall everywhere. Yeah, so, I am. And I'm actually watching a show called mm -hmm. Sugar Rush oh. on Netflix. Um, and I, I actually, uh, they actually tell me how to like ice the cupcake and stuff like that. So, oh, I'm and excited. I also have a tray <laughs> under the cupcake, so sprinkles won't fall on the floor. That's a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a, a quick um, makeshift piping bag would be to use a plastic bag and just snip the end with scissors. So I'm going to fill it and um, then I'll join you with decorating. Yep. Cool. Great. So right now I'm using the two uh, different colored uh, cream cheese icing right now. Nice. And I'm going to um, uh, ice it right now. I might have to stand up to do this though. It's That's a little okay. hard to do it while sitting. Mm -hmm. Is there a special technique you use when piping? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know. Do you go in circles uh, yeah. or lines? Please. You actually squeeze the bag hard. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Wow. And it comes out to different colors. I like that. Wow. And I like a lot of icing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing is a lot of icing. Well, it looks beautiful. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I love doing oh. this. And while everyone's watching, um, what are some ideas that just and I could do for our next video? Please. Think about some and um, share with it with us in the comments so that we can um, choose um, for our next video. All right. So just well, gonna... I also saw barbecue. Mm -hmm. as barbecue well. is a good option. Okay. So this part's also messy. It's got icing everywhere. But that's okay. It's very fun. So just nice. the nice small. And... Big. Wow. Oh, and brownies too. We could do brownies as well. Brownies sound good. Oh, have you guys ever heard of Brookies? Where it's half brownie, half um, cookie? Oh, yeah, Brookie. Brookies are so That's good. I, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> so my icing is very thin, so I'm just doing a thin layer. Mine that's is good. really thick. Yeah. <laughs> But all icing in the and end is all good for me because I love my icing. Wow, <laughs> that looks nice. Oh, someone suggested doing a spa. Mm. Ooh, I, I would like that. I'm in need for one, a spa day. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea too. But we can paint our nails or do our Ooh, hair. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, or maybe a dance lesson too. Pardon? Maybe a dance lesson as well. We could oh, do yeah, that too. Lesson. That sounds fun. This is a lot of icing. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> Those look so tasty. Now I'm gonna do the sprinkles on top of um, the cupcakes. Yeah, so which sprinkles are you going to be using? Um, the red, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing two different um, sprinkles as well. 
Right. They're both red, though. Oh, it's falling, but that's okay. <laughs> the sprinkles are falling, but they're not falling on the floor. They're falling on the tank. That's right. what matters. <laughs> that's what matters, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe we can do a sing-along uh, live video, like karaoke. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll practice my old Canada. <laughs> Having fun yeah. for a while. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe we could do a live video for Best Buddies International. Uh, yeah. uh, Lauren, uh, since we were a little bit nervous, should we end the event with Singing O Canada? Uh, yeah, we, we could definitely do that. Thank you. <laughs> I always start off these videos a bit, a bit nervous and shy. <laughs> right. I'm doing a mix of both um, sprinkles on the same cupcake. Ooh. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. And then I'll show you the end result when I'm done. Mm -hmm. Me too. So I got to do like an array of different styles. and Ooh. But each one's going to get sprinkles. So sprinkle time. Um, instead of a spoon, another uh, method you could do is just to poke a small hole in the, um, a new container of sprinkles. So that you don't even have to take it out of the container, you could just sprinkle it on. But again, like Jessica said, keeping a tray underneath the cupcakes um, is a great way to uh, keep everything clean and save the sprinkles too. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Yeah, because I have that right now. Mm -hmm. I love making cupcakes. Same here. I'm like, really. It's so good. I love making cupcakes. Look at this one. Do you guys like that? Oh, that's pretty. Oh. That's you nice. Lots of hearts. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. You said they look delicious. Oh, great. <laughs> what do you think, Lauren? Whoa, that's a lot of sprinkles. Yeah, I like a lot. <laughs> I love a lot of sprinkles. So, hey, yeah. Oh, do, uh, do we get to eat one? You're gonna eat one right now? And we could eat one as well. Yeah, sure. I feel like I should, do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna finish sprinkling. Okay, I have this one right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you chose a good one? Yeah, I chose a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one with the most icing. Ooh. I'm doing the same. <laughs> All right. I'm doing the same. I'm getting mm -hmm. the one with the most icing. <laughs> so I'm just going to show everyone um, the finished product of all these cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> And now, this is mine. <laughs> and now, now I'm going to be eating mine. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, I can't wait. Mmm. Mm, can't make it but that's okay. How's your steak? It's really good. Really good. Mm. <laughs> wow. It's really good. I love it. How is red velvet so good? Yeah. Cream cheese frostings with it. Mm -hmm. An idea is when you take off the bottom half of the cupcake, you put it on top, you make a cupcake sandwich. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. That's it for our tutorial. We're going to end it over here. Well, that's we start making everyone hungry. And now we're going to sing about Canada. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, Canada. Canada. Our home is in our time's coming. 
with glowing hearts, we see rise out to your throne. From far and wide, wide open, open and black, we sing and open the doors we God, I